So to start with your wings, you're gonna to wanna to think about a basic shape just to lay out the design of the, the creature's wings. And I generally start with, you know, a basic uh, triangular shape for that. They're, you know, you can make them curved or um, small or if you want, it really depends on the, um, your character. So, you know, are they, if they're flying, you're gonna want bigger, wider shapes, you know, maybe even something really loosely resembling a triangle. You want to start thinking about the direction of, of the wings, you know, it depends on what they're doing. So even if they're, you know, closed wings, this sort of flattened heart shape is a good place to start. Or um, you can even do ovals if you want them to have a little, so, you know, a softer curved line for the wings, something like that. Starting with a very loose, um, triangular shape to show me where I'm going to draw my demon's wings. Um, this very light silhouette is going to give me um, an opportunity to figure out where the wings are going to need to go, how they're going to curve and how they'll fit in the composition. Because I like, you know, I want my demon to have sort of skeletal, creepy, jointed wings. I'll have these bony joints that will pop out every now and then. Everyone's demon, you know, or creature can look however they want it to. If you want it to be a little more curved and smooth or, you know, even more spiky and all that kind of stuff, you can add all of those details that you want. But one, the, the main thing is to start with a very basic structure. That way, if you decide you want to change the shape of the wing later on, you don't have to erase, you know, a whole lot of your work. You can, as long as you've got the structure down first, you'll know where to put those lines. Once you've got sort of a, a basic outline, you've got the silhouette of the shape of your wing, and you've got the uh, basic skeletal structure down, you can start to think about the details that you're going to want to add to your wing. And you can add as much or as little detail as you want, uh, but I'll show you a few different techniques that I like to use. Um, the first one is uh, tears and holes, which I, when I think about you know, a monster wing, I like to think of uh, sort of a beat up, weathered, old wing. And uh, to get that effect, you're just kind of keeping the edges a little jagged and the holes should be uh, not a perfect circle, but you know, just little rough tears, sort of, sporadically spaced out and that will give you that sort of weathered look for your creature wing and uh, one other one is um, like if you're doing not just uh, demon wings but maybe dragons or something like that if you want them to have a little more reptilian texture you can add scales uh, a really easy technique is to do sort of a letter C or a, a letter U, uh, depending the, on the direction that you're going. And if you cluster those little shapes all together, you start to get this scaly texture. If you do, you know, if you space them out and group them in clustered areas, you start to get sort of a scale texture. And normally that would be right on the skin of the creature. But if you want to add them onto your wing, you can sporadically place them on certain areas. Like if, if it was on the skin of the wing and it sort of extended out onto the, the membrane texture, you can add those in. And in the sort of similar vein as uh, scales, you can add um, hair, which of course, um, you know, if you're using a, a bat-like wing, you know, bats are mammals and they do have hair on their body, but if you wanted to add a few extra sort of sparse hairs onto your wing, a really easy technique is just a simple line. I like to do, like if you want to do um, sort of short sporadic hairs. You know, you could add something like that onto the wing. Just sort of um, almost randomly, wherever you would think they'd look nice. 
And if you do want to go um, into the route of doing like a, a furry or texture onto your wing, like for example, where the wing meets the body, if you want to extend, you know, a hair texture into that, if you do lots of little clustered short lines that follow the direction of the body and just sort of fade out, you'll get a light furry texture. You can add that to your wing as well. And uh, the last little detail that you could add would be veins. And if you look at bat wings, which, um, you know, if they have a little light behind them or something like that, you can see that they do, you know, the veins do show up in the membrane of the wing. And if that's something that you want to add, uh, a really easy trick for that is um, sort of like you would draw tree branches, you know, again, with the organic shapes. Um, you start with sort of a, a jagged line and just branch the smaller lines off of it. And that will give you a sort of veiny texture. And I mean, if you wanted your creature to be like a gargoyle or something like that, you could, this could almost work as cracks in the stone of the, of the wing, something like that. Just to sort of give a hint at the character of your creature. And um, once you sort of nail those little details down, then you'll be ready to start on your final. And you can, I mean, you can do something totally different. You can add more or less or com you know, a combination of a bunch of these if you want. But it's just a nice way to, to give your, your wings a little bit of, a little bit of character.